Drone racing numbers are falling and we lost the main place that we typically race. So we're trying to kill two birds with one stone to try to see if we can get some RC car racers to try their hands at drone racing. Lamone, Mr. Nice and myself are all training for the upcoming ice race in Milwaukee in the coming weeks, the biggest prize purse of the year. We're good? Yeah, man, I like it. Houston crew is still looking for a permanent home after losing Andy's place and are partnering up with Houston RC, a local competitive RC car and truck racing store where they build, sell parts, and most of all, compete. ADK, Neil, and Ivana have been building dive gates and other track elements on their RC crawler track in the back warehouse for some weeks, and this was one of the first times we got to try it out. The course is tight, and I really had to use all my concentration to fly it successfully, but wow, it was fun. Some intense battling with these guys all day long as we racked up pack after pack. Many of the RC car guys stopped by to check out the new style of racing in the air, and we met a lot of cool people we hope to join us soon. Now we have to ask our drone racing community for some advice. Mo, Houston's RC owner, let us know that several of the people that came by to spectate actually brought their drones, but after seeing us fly the course, they got intimidated and left without actually unpacking any of it. We had two at least let us know they had quads, but only one of them flew them. Yvonne kept suggesting to just fly. We'll get you in the air. Even if you just float around and you don't have to fly the track we are flying, you can just pick a single gate and go through it, or just flying around without crashing can be your course. This often works for us for new drone pilots that are still learning, but for RC racers who have drones but still don't consider themselves as drone pilots and are not at that skill level yet it didn't seem to work this was a bit of a departure for me i remember back in 2017 the first race i ever went to neil and yvonne were there helping people guiding when you had questions fast forward to 2023 as we watch new people come up he was still there helping out but it was a little bit different when I showed up for my first race, I had already put hundreds of hours of stick time learning how to fly, learning how to do tricks. But drone pilots today may not have that level of skill. They may be flying something that's DJI with automatic modes, and they're not quite up to the task of building, figuring out beta flight, all these things. This is an excerpt from a video that the crew did a few years back, just encouraging everyone not to wait till you think you're ready, but as soon as you can fly, come out and fly with us. Just being a part of the race is gonna make you better. But if you wait until I get this good in my head before I can race, you're probably gonna be really disappointed that you show up and still are, wow. like you think now I'm finally good enough that I'm gonna show up and race and you're still gonna be a noob. Like, just go as a noob, like, like for real noob, just go and show up and participate. And then like, and then that'll make you better. We'll take care of the rest. Full video. If you want to know the top 10 reasons you should come out to your first race in the links below. What anybody else in the community has as far as suggestions is to pull a few of them over. I really had a fantastic time flying at their facility. Everyone's so nice and welcome. I'd like to maybe try my hand at a little bit of RC car racing. Maybe it's something I want to explore. Maybe I could drive one with a camera on it and fly it FPV or drive it. Here's some of the DVR from my runs battling with Ramon and Grower and we hope to see you guys in Milwaukee very soon. I think I'm behind the wall or something. All right, this is a good one. Ooh, that kid's a kid in his life. 